I'm going to answer the question for you of how to make whole roasted garlic cloves. Not to be confused with whole roasted garlic bulbs, which is part of this class. I included this as an additional condiment, if you will, or another skill to some extent, so that you could uh, have the flexibility of adding this to your repertoire for flavoring things and seasoning things. And what I'm going to do in this particular class is I'm going to use the whole roasted garlic cloves to garnish the spinach dish that we're going to make today. Um, the additional thing that one can use the whole roasted garlic for, of course, is to puree it and add it to any number of things, uh, including making roasted garlic bread and so on and so forth. Just about anything that you would use garlic for, you could, in most cases, use roasted garlic. And it has that roasty, toasty, cooked flavor that obviously raw garlic does not have. One never eats raw garlic anyway, whether it be garlic bread or whatever. But in this particular case, you don't have to cook the item very much to have the garlic element cooked, which must be done when you're going to eat the garlic. So in case that was, that's confusing at all, let me just say again that garlic needs to be cooked before you eat it. Sometimes raw garlic is being added to an item that you can't cook very much. In that particular case, that's a nice moment where you might want to use this whole roasted garlic puree or chopped or mashed as a substitute. So the whole roasted garlic cloves are very, very simple to make. And the reason I'm making them in a little saute pan rather than a half sheet pan is that half sheet pan is just too big to put a small amount of garlic like this on. And this is, you know, six or eight ounces of garlic cloves. All I'm going to do is put a little bit of good olive oil on there. Now, it doesn't have to be extra virgin, but it helps. It has a little, little, little better flavor and a little bit of salt and a little bit of fresh black pepper. And don't want to do too much to the garlic. I lost one down there. Try not to do that. Um, and I'm just going to pop this in a 350, 325 degree oven right in there like that. And I'm going to cook it until it's tender enough to eat. Now, you can burn this garlic, and then it won't be of any use to you, so be careful about that. So you don't need to cook it at a high temperature. You want to cook it at a, well, the lower the temperature, the better, but you want to make sure you get a little bit of brown on it, okay? So I'll be back in right away, of course, in this case, but uh, this will probably take about 20 to 30 minutes to cook. And all you want to do to test it, to know when it's done, is make sure it's a little bit brown, and that touch it, and it feels like it's ready to mash in your fingers. Um, so I'll be back in a flash with the finished garlic, and then we'll I'll talk to you a little bit more about some things you can do with that. Okay, the roasted garlic cloves have been in the oven for 20, 25 minutes, and they are done. I just checked them a second ago, so we're going to pull them out. And look at those babies. Those are nice. And... Um, how much are they done? Look. See how I can mash them? They're soft like that. Now you can take this and put it in your food processor and make roasted garlic puree and add it to all kinds of dishes, okay? Of course, to make it, uh, make those dishes enhanced. Um, the only time that, uh, you know, there, I talk about using cooked garlic, and you typically you don't. Of course, you always use raw garlic in most cases for, like, salad dressings and things like that. And we have a spinach dish in this particular class, for example, that has raw garlic put into the cold spinach, but it's finely minced. So one never gets a big piece of raw garlic in their mouth. And keep in mind that if you ever do add your raw garlic to your dish, that you mince it very, very finely so that no one gets a big chunk of garlic in their mouth. Um, so there's your roasted garlic. Now, the next answer that needs to be given to you about handling the roasted garlic is, okay, now we've got it. We don't want to use it right now. We want to make it as a condiment, something like, say, tomato conca, say, for example. This can be used in multiple things, and this can be used in multiple things. So one way to store this is you can set it in some olive oil and put it in the fridge if you want. Or you can cover it up in an airtight jar in the fridge, and it will keep about a tenth of the length of time as it will if you store it in the olive oil. Now, all you're going to end up with 
is two things if you store it in the olive oil, which is kind of neat. You're going to end up with roasted garlic olive oil. So you're going to make an infusion, if you will, of flavor from the roasted garlic into the olive oil if you store it in the olive oil. So that when your time comes, whether it be a week or a month uh, later after you make it, uh, time comes for you to use it, you'll soften it up in a microwave, not cooking it, of course, and drain the olive oil out, and you'll have this, this uh, flavored olive oil with that roasted garlic undertone in it, and that's kind of nice, too. Of course, for a salad and so on and so forth, that olive oil. So, but that's how you would store the garlic. And then um, you, of course, can, in this class, also there's that whole roasted garlic bulb, and that is designed to cook it to the same extent. And you'll see that when you look in that particular lesson, the roasted bulb is cooked until it's soft like this, so you can spread it on your bread. So instead of using the bulb, the way I demonstrate with you, uh, for you with bread and butter and olive oil and so on, as a condiment for your bread at dinner, you can take the roasted garlic puree and use that if you want and mix it with butter and have roasted garlic butter as your butter for your bread or whatever, crackers, etc. So there you have it. There's a little extra item for this particular class about doing vegetables. This is a nice condiment that you should know about and understand how to make. Now, you will find in the roasted garlic world of cooking, if you will, that there's two or three other ways that this is sometimes made. The most popular being where it's completely submerged in oil and cooked in the oven in the oil itself. I find that cooking it like this is faster, and I like it better because you get a crispy brown to the garlic instead of a soft brown to the garlic, which is what you get when you cook it in the oil. So enjoy your roasted garlic and have fun with that.